talks today, I would like to answer the most important question of all human beings for time immemorial, whether you are a philosopher, a scientist, or a religious person, or even a common man. The question is, or the question of the philosophers is, what is this relationship between being and a non-being? The total darkness and the total light. The matter and the anti-matter. Christ and anti-Christ. God and Satan. Devas and Ashuras. These are all the terms used in various categories of human being. Philosopher, scientist, religious person, whether you are a Christian, Hindu, or any other religion. It's the same question. There is even a mantra in Hindu tradition called Gayatri Mantra, which says, which prays, asking, lead us from the darkness to the light. The darkness is nothing but non being. And the light is nothing but the being, which is, which is also called Sat in Sanskrit. What is the relationship between the two? Being and non-being, matter and anti-matter, God and non-God, Satan. I'm going to first describe the most fundamental spiritual experience I had about 20, 30 years, about 30 years back. At that time, I didn't know that it is such an important spiritual experience. In fact, to be honest, I didn't realize the importance of that till today morning. Though I was aware that it's one of the most fundamental spiritual experience of mine, and I talked about that in my earlier videos. Probably most of you have not really paid attention to that video. That experience is this. As usual in all my spiritual experiences, I was doing something at home and all of a sudden my mind was arrested and there is this total darkness. I am there in the total darkness without any bodily senses and my mind being totally arrested, it cannot do anything, it can only receive, it cannot do anything else. In that state, all of a sudden there is some little light, there is a voice which says, female voice which says, I am a being. And it points to the darkness because I'm able to see the darkness because it was this twilight zone. That is, the darkness is not yet gone. The light is not yet fully arrived or exist. It is in between stage. So I could see that darkness. That, that voice points to. And but by the way, there was no form. It was just only voice. To be honest, it is the same thing as me. I'm talking to myself. Though at that time, I'm kind of a, there's a separation, mild separation between me and that voice. 
So that voice says, female voice says, I'm a being and don't wake up that, don't wake him up. That is the starting. He will eat me up. Then I'll become a non-being. And then it says, after some time, I'll sprout again. In other words, I'll become a being again. The most fundamental thing that I didn't realize at that time is it is the same thing which becomes a being and again non-being, again a being and so on, so on. It's like the cycle repeats. So what is the relationship between a being and non-being? It is the same thing, the same unknown thing, which is same as me. I'm both the darkness and the light and then one which becomes a light and after some time darkness and then light again. So the answer to that philosopher's question is this same undefined entity which becomes a being in a non-being, again a being, repeating the cycle. And it is that, that one is same as me, which is same as you. So we are all now on the light side, the side of light, that is the side of being. But there is the side of non-being, which we are all, which we all will become at some time, and the cycle will repeat. And what is time? The time is something. based on this change of being and non-being again being. And what is that thing which becomes, which creates this time, being a being and then non-being and again a being is the timeless one. And that one, which is same as you and me, become being non-being, again a being, matter, anti-matter, again matter. Another question that will probably arise in you is that this, this, the, the, the being and the state of being and non-being exist simultaneously? Yes, it exists simultaneously. But that one is known only to the timeless one. You cannot even say that the timeless one knows it. The timeless one is aware of it. it because it is timeless, it's aware of this change, becoming a being and non-being and again a being. And that one is what I call Eternal Unknown. From my first video, which I published in 2018, I've been saying, I am the Eternal Unknown. Which you are all. Because you didn't experience that spiritual experience I had. You are not aware of the fact that you are that timeless unknown, eternal unknown, which becomes a being, non-being, and again a being. In other words, it is that one which is being born, dies, and becomes 
I mean being and, and get born again. Folks, that's what I want to talk to you today. If you have any question, please let me know. It will be very, very hard for you to probably digest and understand the significance of what I'm talking about. But watch this video again and again. It's the most fundamental video probably that you have ever seen. Think about it. And if you have any question, please leave a comment. I will respond.